Oh my god. She just jumped on top of my laptop. Okay. Okay, um, hey guys, it's Valley Posts here, and so I want to make a quick video on spotting because when you're dancing, basically you're spotting the whole time. Um, I know spotting is basically used for turns, but you know, when you're dancing on, on stage or in class, you don't just keep going like up, down, all around, you look at something. Um, maybe yourself at the mirror, maybe that's what you're spotting at, maybe you're spotting at the clock, maybe you're spotting at the door, like you're just uh, spotting on something. Um... I know I get really confused with spotting when I overthink it too much, so you're not supposed to think of it way too, like, much, so it kind of gets you confused. But I'm going to show you some things that I do in order to, like, help me understand spotting. In a way, like, uh, you have to understand, like, what it is and how it is done. Um, so you're going to, what I'm going to use to show you is tape, paper, and a red marker. Um, I'm going to use this to make something to spot out, like a big red dot. I'm going to put that on the thing, and then I'm going to look at it while I'm turning. So, um, just stay tuned for that, and I'll just give you a demonstration. Thanks. Enjoy. Okay, guys. So, one of the things for spotting that you should know is that you're always looking at that spot. The dot, or the, um, whatever it is. So, when you're looking at it, like this, you want to first try to understand spotting. Look at something. Slowly turn and whip your head back. Turn and whip your head back. Try not actually turning like um, technical turning, just go in a circle. And this is how like you understand. So you're standing at a spot, you're looking at it. So your head moves faster than your body. Your head is kind of what turns you. So when you're looking at something, you whip your head around and that's what makes your body go faster back at the circle. Because if you go really slow, you don't see the circle for a, a amount of time. So, for instance, when you're turning and you go really slow, you stop looking at the dot for a second, for that one second, and then you have to find it again, but that's what makes you dizzy. If you keep your eyes on that spot the whole time, it'll keep you from getting dizzy. So, look at it, turn, whip your head, look at it, turn, whip your head, whip your head, whip your head. So, I'm also going to do it on this view so you can see me sideways rather than facing away from you, but I'm going to put this over here, it's on my wall, you're not going to see it right now, you probably can't see the dot, but I just want you to see like what I'm doing, oh there we go, that's good, alright, so this is the dot right here, right, I'm looking at it, so we're going to go a little bit faster now, doing the same thing that we did, so we're going to go, you don't have to do technical as I said already, so looking at it, whip your head, looking at it, whip your head, looking at it, whip your head, looking at it, keep doing it like this, and then this will help you understand what you're doing, as it says, because if you just get into turning right away, sometimes you get a little bit mixed up or confused with it. So just, if you really are starting from the beginning, just stand straight, slowly turn, good, like I was doing before. But it creates more technical turning and makes you less dizzy, and it kind of makes you look a lot more organized than just speeding around looking at whatever you're looking at. So I'm going to show you an example of how it looks like when I am doing it without spotting. And you get dizzy and you go side to side. And keep in mind where you're spotting is kind of where you go towards. So if you're doing a um, piquet passe turn, what you're spotting at is where you're going to go towards. So if your teacher says to go across the room during the center, you might want to look at the clock that's that corner. So if this was the clock, I would probably want to go this way, so I would look towards here, and I would spot here. So when people spot forwards, my dog wants to get out of the room, sorry. Can I just let her out here? Okay, so when if you are looking at yourself in the mirror, and you're uh, going to the left, then you will end up going something like this, going towards the camera rather than going to your destination. You might go to the left, but you will go kind of in a slanted motion towards the opposite end of the room, which is not really what you want. So when you are turning and you're not spotting, it looks something like this. Although you don't feel it, it looks very sloppy. So it'll be like, 
and I'm already going side to side. It's really a lot less organized, and you don't look like very dancer-like. You look more like you're um, some random person spinning wrap. So you really want to spot as a way to. Oh Lord. You really want to spot as a way to have more like control over your body and your head really does whip you around. So what you can try now is after you've done this for a while, you can turn it around. Okay, and then you can turn it around like this. And then take it like that. And then put one red dot. Like just kind of like a little, you can't really see it that much, but it's like a little dot like that. And then try spotting with a less obvious, like, kind of thing. So when you're spotting with a dot, you want to keep your eyes on it the whole time. Um, when you're in the middle of turning and you whip your head, your eyes take a moment to find it, but then you have it again. You turn, you have it. You turn, you have it. So it kind of just looks like that. So let's turn. So when you're in that moment of focusing, which is somewhere near here where your eye is looking at it, and it's like, okay, this is my spot, and then you turn, 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 here is where you where it happens again, and then your eye sees the spot, so you don't get dizzy. But if you're not looking at a spot at all, you'll end up just looking all around, or getting sloppy, going around, swivelly. You know, you won't be able to looking very dancer-like. Um, you should try these practices at home just to understand the way that spotting works. Um, especially do it slowly, like I was doing, like, look at it, turn slowly, and whip your head. That is the basic concept of it. So once you understand that, you can try doing it with different kinds of turns so that it'll help you see it in real life situations. Because you're not just going to go in circles like that in dance class. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. It was just a short video, but, um... Subscribe, comment, like, and, uh, yeah, thanks, bye.